the stock of the day is NextDC and NextDC has posted a larger than expected loss for full year 23 with the company reporting a full year loss of 25 spots 6 million. Revenues increased by 25% to a record high however with underlying EBIT rising 15% to 193 spot 7 million. Looking ahead, CEO Craig Scroge says full year 24 will be a critical investment year for Next DC. The company has guided for revenues between 400 to 415 million and EBIT between 190 and 200 million, slightly below analyst expectations. So, does this company warrant a buy? Well, Gaurav, hmm. really important for a company like NextDC to invest for the future, but it, it's not the same period as it was over the, the previous growth of this business, as in the cost of capital has gone up substantially. And this is a company that's always, oper always operated using a lot of debt. Mm. In the early years of NextDC, they used to develop a data centre and then sell the property off and have long-term leases in place. Um, they actually spun that um, the property section off into a, a, a REIT um, and the company then bought that REIT back. And the reason they did that was they said their customers wanted the security of, of asset ownership. And I thought that was remarkable. That was one of the first times I started paying attention to NextDC because it showed that the customers are thinking in decades. And if the customers were thinking in decades, you have um, a business with an opportunity to capture uh, a market for a long time with very low churn rates. And I still think the market does not understand data center assets very well. Um, in the Intelligent Investor Funds, we've owned um, NextDC, uh, Macquarie Telecom, now called Macquarie Technology, and also Infratil. These are the three top data center businesses in Australia, and we've owned all of them at various times no longer own next dc which we sold for i would call risk management reasons mm -hmm. and daniel your point um, earlier about debt has a bearing on that but mm -hmm. why these businesses get missing um i think uh, misunderstood is because the numbers always look horrible yeah and um uh, i think investors are simply looking at the wrong set of numbers the bottom line for next dc records a loss mm. and i think it's completely irrelevant mm. because it has to invest money up front yep. hundreds of millions of dollars it then depreciates that money, um, but it doesn't recognize any of the revenue for years and years and years. So you're recording a cost up front and you're not recognizing the uh, revenue at the same time. So the loss is always going to be large. Um, so we don't really focus on that bottom line. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people were hesitant about EBITDA, but for this business, I think it gives a good indication of what the cash flow potential is. Um, the other thing that people get wrong is that these aren't property businesses, they aren't technology <laughs> businesses, these are network businesses. Yeah. And the way they make money is by getting um, a, a bunch of tenants in one place and allowing them to connect to one another and then taking the fees from those network charges. Um, the best businesses in the US get 20% of revenue that way at 80-90% gross margins. Sorry, not like gross margins, EBITDA margins yeah, at 80-90% yeah. like EBITDA Equinix. margins. Um, Equinix is the one I'm thinking about. Yeah. And um, NextDC is, is following a similar model. This is a very high quality business. Um, we've cooled on it over the last couple of months because I think the risks have increased because this is a very high, highly geared business. And I'm just yeah. worried about how they manage their balance sheet. They have to manage that very carefully. They've also now allocating capital to areas that aren't quite as productive. So we're talking about um, smaller data centers closer to customers and also wholesale data centers, which attract lower margins. Doesn't really change the investment case, but probably just alters the value equation enough for it mm -hmm. to be a hold. It's been a buy for a, for a long time for me, but for mm -hmm. now, because of those risk, risk factors, where the share price is, I'm gonna go a hold. But I will say this is a very high quality business, it does not get recognized for its quality, and it ought to be on the radar of most investors. Yeah, my totally agree with Gaurav's points, <coughs> but also they're increasingly going offshore. Mm -hmm. And I suppose from you know experience, offshore expansion can either be fabulous or an absolute D for a disaster. How do you see Next DC, Nathan? Yeah, I mean, Australian companies do not have a good track record going overseas. Unless you're the visa. <laughs> <laughs> That's far. Uh, well, it depends where you are in the cycle. Um, and it is tough. And even in telco space, 
Um, I mean, if you look back at history of the amount of time Telstra tried to do something outside oh, of Australia yeah. and got shot down um, is amazing. So it is tough. <laughs> Telco, in, uh, online, uh, internet, uh, tech, it is tough. Um, so there are advantages that you have and you enjoy in the Australian market that you don't necessarily get outside. The risk is higher. So your graph's right. Oh, look, I think it's a great business. I mean, I used to uh, look at this stock as the CEO with the Instagram uh, That's right. <laughs> um, uh, account. Um, it's an acquired taste, um, but the, when the market hates it, I love it. That's the time you want to get into them. Mm. I think the data center thematic is solid. I think it plays out for a long period of time. I mean, look at Telstra. They don't want to sell the infrastructure asset yeah, because they yeah. think the upside is there. So I'm not arguing against that. I think that that thematic holds quite well. Um, are you paying a lot? I mean, I'm not a chartist, but this is the third time we've got around these levels. Mm. And the previous times, interest rates were zero. Yeah. You know, there's a big difference. Mm. Um, so it is a but lot But the build tougher. capacity is much larger now than and it was there. That is true. Yeah. They've increased capacity, yeah. costs are higher, yeah. um, and the model is a bit more riskier than what it used to be. Um, so in that context, but did they have to do that? Yes, because everything is. The problem here is right now, there is no real surprise. Everyone knows these mm. good quality mm. businesses and everyone's paying too much for them. Mm. And you can see it, all the defensives in the reporting season got sold down on the result. People are paying too much. So look, I, I'm with Gaurav. I think the long-term thematic is solid. If you got in cheap, hold it, that's yeah. fine. This uh, is always you know, accept, accept a pullback. Uh, that's just a uh, matter of cycle. But if I'm putting fresh money, I'm not putting it right now. The yeah. valuation for me for the risk return is not there. Yeah. But look, it's a high quality business. Uh, look, you know, I've said that about a few other ones that gone higher rather than lower. Mm -hmm. So in that context, I would hope at some point this comes back so I get a bite yeah. at it. But yeah, I, I can't manage the risk return at this price. Fair enough. There's always going to be a takeover potential for this yeah. because if you split the pop property out, I think you generate a lot of value, but not necessarily for the customers. I tell you the one thing. The private firm that does is going to make a mint. I tell you one thing, when yeah. you hear that, term in the market, yeah. sell the stock. Because when you, when, you, when someone starts yeah. to come out and say, yeah, yeah. they divest their property asset, yeah, yeah, yeah. that usually means you're struggling for a growth story yeah. Yeah. and they throw it out there. Yeah, that's a good point. So usually, Ramsey, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, but look, this is a very good thematic and they're very good operators. Mm. I actually like what they do. Just the market is paying too much. Yeah. I don't want to pay just, that. Just all. run too hard for, for now. Yeah, exactly. too expensive.